Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is leadership and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Luke chapter 4 and verse 1. Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Sometime last week we spoke about how being filled with the Spirit of God was a criteria for service in the days of the apostles of old and we started to tease out how that criteria could be identified in people. Our anchor scripture begins to open us up into the scriptural response to that question we raised. For clarity, the question I would like for us to tease out is how can I know that a person is ever filled with the Spirit of God? What will a life that is filled with the Spirit of God look like? In our anchor scripture, the Bible describes the scene after Jesus' baptism. The Bible says Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan, and this is where our answer lies. So listen carefully. He was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. He was led. The evidence of being filled is leadership and government by the Holy Spirit. Remember that we said that being filled is compared with being drunk. One who is drunk comes under the influence of alcohol, which takes over their faculties and they begin to act in ways most times inconsistent with ways they would act if they were not under that influence. It is the same as being filled. What happens is that the Holy Spirit comes in and exerts leadership and governance. The one who is filled is then under the control of this spirit who then calls the shots. Look at Jesus in our anchor scripture. He had just been publicly endorsed by heaven. The heavens opened, people heard a voice. It was spectacular stuff. That should have been the best time in human eyes to step out and start preaching or drawing attention to himself. But no, the spirit of God came upon him and brought his leadership upon Jesus and then compelled Jesus to go right into a wilderness from public announcement to wilderness. I love the way Mark captured it. It said the spirit drove him into the wilderness. The spirit could exert that government and leadership because Jesus was so full of him and yielded to him. The number one evidence of being filled is not speaking in tongues or falling down under the anointing. It is leadership and government who calls the shot it shots in any life common sense yourself society can the spirit of god interrupt your sleep can he interrupt your eating plans can he ask you to do something you don't ordinarily feel like doing there are many things the spirit of god brings into a life but government is the pivotal characteristic again i ask who calls the shots in your life Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, give us the grace to sincerely evaluate our lives and make amends where we need to. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.